Well, I don't wish to criticise the Nobel Prize overall. It has some very fine people involved with it, and some very fine Nobel laureates have won the prizes in the past. I just think this is a huge political misjudgment to give it to such a contentious body as the European Union at a time when the Euro scheme is doing so much to promote dissension within Europe. And just look at the way the relationship between Greece and Germany has deteriorated massively in, in recent months, primarily because of the joint membership of the single currency scheme. And the scenes we saw recently when Frau Merkel, the German Chancellor, went to visit Greece were shaming. Uh, and they are the result of growing tension between Germany and Greece as a direct result of the EU's Euro scheme. I'm quite sure it's a political move. Uh, it's trying to stress an argument which the, the founders and cheerleaders of the EU have always put forward, that they uh, uniquely were the people who believed in the peace of Western Europe and have preserved the peace of Europe. The rest of us resent this argument deeply because we too are peace lovers. And we feel that the peace has been hard won by the countries not fully part or part at all of the European Union, as well as by the countries that are, and that the peace in Western Europe owed a great deal to NATO, uh, which was a clearly strong alliance organized around the principles of self-defense, not aggression. That I think the main reasons for peace amongst the Western states of Europe uh, is not primarily the existence of the European Union, uh, the European Union did not have a very glorious record of intervention in Eastern Europe, uh, where it had its critics for what it did in the Balkans during the collapse of former Yugoslavia. And I'm not quite sure how the Nobel Peace Prize uh, Committee evaluated the EU's involvement in the Balkans, 